here in Tulsa today, we're going to have to pray. Two Tulsa police officers still fighting for their lives tonight after being shot during what was supposed to be a routine traffic stop. Good evening. Glad you're with us. I'm Mike Brooks. I'm Karen Larson. At least four years of prison time. That's what one of the suspects could face in connection to the shooting of the two officers, Arash Zarkishan and Sergeant Craig Johnson, still fighting for their lives while the suspected shooter and accomplice sit in jail. Two Works for you, Sierra Pizarro joins us now with more on how the simple traffic stop turned violent. David Ware is the suspected shooter. He and Matt Hall were arrested and are in the Tulsa County Jail. A correctional officer tells us from there, Ware is being held in special housing right now. His court date is tomorrow. Looks like we're looking for a white male, approximately six foot tall. Police say David Ware wasn't on the run for long. The 32-year-old is accused of shooting Sergeant Craig Johnson and Officer Aresh Zarkishan. This suspect will have his day in court and he will be judged by a jury of his peers. Fired multiple shots at both officers, ran north, north, east. -ish. Before things escalated, officers say Zarkishan pulled Ware over close to 3.30 Monday morning near 21st and Mingo. Sergeant Johnson was his backup. According to the affidavit, Ware didn't have ID, was driving a car with an expired paper tag and unpaid state taxes. For 12 times, he he told the guy to get out of the vehicle that he was going to be tased. Police say Ware fought through taser and still wouldn't get out of the car even after pepper spray was used. The officer's next move was to forcefully pull him out. Tulsa police say that's when Ware grabbed a handgun from beneath his seat and fired nine times. Then Ware was seen running to and leaving in Matthew Hall's car. It's a felony for the person that did it and it's going to be trouble for anybody around him that's aiding and abetting. The affidavit says the FBI confirmed Ware and Hall were on the phone for 16 minutes during Ware's altercation with officers. The FBI and the ATF will be the lead investigative agencies for the United States, but they'll be in a supportive role to the investigative professionals at the Tulsa Police Department. Ware is charged with two counts of shooting with intent to kill and for being a convicted felon in possession of a weapon. He's held without bond. 29-year-old Hall is charged with accessory to a felony. We will review the facts and the evidence as they come available, and we will proceed in a court of law. They've collected evidence inside the Broken Arrow home where Hall was found. TPD still investigates and reviews body cam footage. We will leave no stone unturned. The corrections officer also tells us at the jail that uh, tasers are rarely ineffective when they are ineffective. In almost all cases, the suspect is either on drugs or suffers from mental illness. The officer couldn't tell us whether Ware was drug tested. I'm Cyril Pizarro, two works for you.